that you hot Hey everyone, what's going on? I hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. Me spending all this time on my sled and doing these videos has been something that's been able to keep my mind off of things going on, like with uh, coronavirus. It's been keeping me busy making these videos, and I'm happy to uh, continue making these videos, showing people uh, tips to clean their sled, grease it, get it ready for next year, and things that can improve its performance over the course of the next year. I'm gonna show you a few ways that are quick, easy, and effective that can improve the longevity and the health of the snowmobile over the course of the next few months as it's not being ridden or driven during the summer months. The first thing we're going to do uh, to this sled is going to put the power steering fluid down the cylinders uh, which prevents some corrosion and keeps things fresh, clean and, uh, and oiled up and lubricated during the course of the next four months as the engine's not moving uh, and there's no moving components. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. According to my analytics, most of you guys are not subscribed, so don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Secondly, we're also going to be pouring fuel stabilizer in the gas. I think there's like a half tank left in it. After putting the fuel stabilizer in it, I'll be able to start it up next year and hit the ground running, not having to worry about that bad gas. We're going to be putting fuel stabilizer in not only this sled, but a few of the other ones I have here. So I'll show you guys all this, how it's done. So in conclusion, it's going to be two quick ways to preserve the motor and the gas that's going through the sled. Uh, this is not the only things you need to be doing to your sled, but these are two that are effective and quick. One of the first things that you need to do in order to get the power steering fluid down there, once your panel is off, you're gonna wanna go in there and remove the spark plug. Once your other panel is off, you're going to want to go ahead and take out the other spark plug. And just like that, once your panels are off and your spark plugs are detached and out of the machine, the cylinder is exposed, all it then takes is a funnel and some power steering fluid to get the job done. Once you clean the funnel, you're able to just line it up in the cylinder and begin pouring. It's important to not do too much power steering fluid, but enough that once you pull it over, as you will see me do in a few minutes, that it gets completely through the motor and covers all components. Now for the other side, we will do the exact same thing. Puts them in just like that. Let it drip through and pull the funnel out. Once this task is complete, all I'm going to do is clean off these spark plugs that were in there before and just gently hand thread them back into the cylinders, not tighten them or put the caps on, just gently hand thread them back in and leave it like that for the rest of the summer. Like I mentioned, all it is is just a quick insert and a hand thread in with no wrench until it's hand tight. Once you have the plugs out and the power steering poured down the cylinders, now you're going to pull it over here with the recoil a few times to make sure the power steering fluid gets moved throughout the motor. It's also a good idea at this point to give the motor a wipe down of any excess power steering fluid that may have got or seep down into the motor. Just give that a quick clean. It's always nice to keep the engine tidy. After we've completed the task of putting the power steering fluid down the cylinders, we're gonna move on to the next task, which is putting this fuel stabilizer into the gas tank. Um, I had left about a quarter tank of gas in here. And this specific measurement tells me that I'm gonna need about 30 milliliters of fuel stabilizer to stabilize this amount of fuel on my sled. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. Now that we got this sled done, I'm gonna move on and do the next three sleds.
Oopsies. And just like that, we've done two quick, effective ways that can help preserve the gas, the motor, and other components of the sled throughout the duration of its off season, allowing the sled to have one less issue when it comes fall and you're ready to hit the snow. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. According to my analytics, most of you guys are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more content. Peace.